What's going on, Cancer? And welcome to the Chariot and Friends. Justin here and I hope you're feeling intuitive today. Just feeling really perceptive there, Cancer. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back, Soul Tribe. I appreciate your subscriptions, your likes and shares. Your support really is just phenomenal, Cancer. And it keeps us growing. And for those of you who are new, welcome. My happy higher self is brought to you here. We're in for an amazing journey. Now, the purpose of this channel, for those of you who have cancer in their placement, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mercury, wherever cancer, this one's for you. I actually know a family friend, her Mercury's in cancer. And I do tarot cards, but it's based on our ruler here, the good old moon. And I'll talk about what sign she's in, what phase she's in, and when she's going void, of course, just all of those Lunar shenanigans, Cancer. And just so you're all aware, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one. -one. So take what resonates with you. Leave the rest with me. Never force a reading on a situation and everything will be dope, Cancer. Now, let's jump into it. I hope that doesn't like spook you, Cancer. I never actually thought about that. This <laughs> is jumping at you. <laughs> In Cancer, your space has been cleansed. Crystals, feel then lovely. Just great energy all around here, Cancer. And Cancer, happy Venus Day. It's, it's Friday. Hope you're maybe getting ready to go out for a date. Maybe if you didn't get to do Valentine's Day during the middle of the week, this is a. I feel like this is even a better time, dude. I feel like I feel like Valentine's Day should always, if they're gonna do it, should always fall on a on a Venus Day. Cause that's a great time to get out there, cancer, socialize, enjoy the finer things in life. You know, maybe do some self care, self care, self care. Maybe even if we had. If we if we wanting to mend some bridges, you know, Venus Day is a great day for that energy as well. Or this could just again, Cancer, just be a time to just kind of self care because also the moon is going void of course today, there, Cancer. And the moon is gonna go void of course at about seven a.m. and that'll be that'll be oh when did I do these notes? That'll be Pacific time. I want I want to say I did these notes in Pacific time, and. She'll be moving from Taurus into Gemini at about 11.39 a.m. Cancer. So we're looking at about a four hour, 39 minute void of course time. And this happens, Cancer, when the moon forms her final aspect with a planet. And she just needs to recharge her, charge her batteries there. Oh, interesting, Cancer. Okay. Talk about that in a moment. Thank you, guys. But it's when the moon forms her final aspect with a sign and then she just goes off and wanders. She just does her own thing because the moon is the fastest moving luminary in the, you know, in our little solar system here. And, well, you know, at least in our, you know, in the planets that we utilize cancer. But <clears throat> because of that. You know, she does give off a lot of energy and she is doing a lot between going through the different signs, the different phases, and the moon deals with our subconscious cancer and how the energies are impressionable on us because we feel, you know, wherever your cancer placements are at, you know, that's that feeling that that feeling of consciousness you know that awareness the feeling the nuances of that and it's a very subjective and very sensitive energy to be like very you know we deal heavily with the emotion so in that sensitivity you know we want to be mindful of how the energies can interact with us cancer from the people who we interact with interact with from our environment even, from the things we listen to, from the things we eat, really tune tune into that, from the things we perceive, because that'll kind of tie in, actually, let me pull this down a little bit, Cancer, that'll tie in with where the moon's at. And yeah, this is one, Cancer, you know, just making sure to recharge your batteries, do some meditation, do some introspective work, make sure to check in what's yours, what's not yours. If there's something external that is affecting you, getting being curious with this, you know, I feel like our sign has a very, very high capacity for a lot of growth, but it does 
understand that, you know, we're at home in our imagination, you know, when those emotions and those subjective type of feelings. So we have to be mindful of what is being created in our, in our, you know, in this inside the shell there and what's actually happening outside of us there, Cancer. So, you know, just, I feel like it's something to pay, pay attention to. Just make sure that we're maybe doing either like an Epsom bath or doing maybe like some sound cleansing or maybe even lighting some sage or lighting an incense, you know, maybe even rearranging your space. Just being mindful of how you're feeling there, Cancer. Maintaining that sense of awareness and the fluctuations in that. And also, Cancer, you may notice this may be an interesting or maybe a tougher time to get things started when the moon is in is in the in the void of course stage. So that's something to be mindful of. And also people may be less likely to make decisions during this time and that and also that your plans may be subject to unexpected changes. So just some couple of things to be mindful of. Be working with the energies there. Sometimes you know we know when not to force it and you know when to take action there, cancer. And then also, we are in the first quarter phase in Gemini, of uh, Gemini there, Cancer, but now the moon's in Gemini, but this first quarter would have happened like right as the moon would go void of course. It would have been when the moon was in Taurus and the sun is in Aquarius, so that it, it's exact happened at what time? Hmm. I have to double check on the time there, Cancer. But it happened at 27 degrees and 25 minutes when this was happening. The sun was in Aquarius and the moon was in Taurus. And you know, the first quarter is where we meet our first conflict, Cancer, where we start noticing the, any sort of resistance or where we may notice some either external or internal challenges when it comes to the sun and sun or in, when any planets are in a square. There's this sense of disharmony. And it might be partway with all of this Aquarius energy going on right now there, Cancer. You can feel that things are moving very fast. You know, maybe you've been asking yourself, you feel the shift of the collective maybe moving Moving. It could be a number of ways, and now it's just like, how are we get, are we getting lost in the wave, or are we, you know, checking in, getting ourselves? I feel almost grounded in a sense with the moon, because the moon is strong in this position here, Cancer. And again, I feel like this is a very mature place for the moon and the sun to be having this conversation. So I feel we can, if we take a moment and really kind of sit. And, and couple that with this Gemini energy, take what you've been feeling maybe over the past few days, something that may have a thought that may have rocked your security in a sense, or this could be maybe someone's opinion, how someone else kind of perceived this. Maybe you've been talking about this with others, sharing information, and maybe there was a seed of doubt that's been planted in. However, this may be looking there, Cancer. And seeing how this affects your values and what you feel secure and kind of going forward. But... I feel that the nice thing about this, though, even with all these changes that are happening there, Cancer, we can still, again, because the moon is doing very strong in this, in this energy, because the moon is exalted in Taurus when this is happening, and the sun is actually very weak in Aquarius, and so... Because it, it's, huh, yeah, because he's technically in, in detriment there. So this may be, even for some, I feel it can be an energy of just thinking about that cancer. You may just, this may could even be one where we're leading a bit more intuitively, a bit more subjectively, using a bit more imagination with what we're building as far as like, you know, I almost feel like, Huh. I'm almost even kind of feeling with that sun being weakened in Aquarius, technically, you know, how this again, how the planets fall. The moon is being not just being strong in Taurus. She's being supported by Venus, who's in Capricorn. At, she, Venus will be at like 29 degrees of Capricorn. So again, very mature energy. And Capricorn energy is kind of like the imagination that we're taking and who we see ourselves and putting it for the people to see, you know, really kind of living your authentic self and without the accolades or you know, whatever people think. Capricorn and Aquarius kind of share some, some similarities. And of course, having Saturn being one of their rulers and Saturn is the ruler of where Venus is at, but it's all tied to Neptune and Pisces. I know it's like a whole big puzzle there, Cancer, but it's a beautiful one because Neptune is really kind of 
kind of a real kind of powerhouse as well in this because the moon is in a nice conversation with both Venus and Neptune. So there's this lovely feminine energy that's going on here that we can really kind of nurture this view of where we're going. You know, Neptune and Pisces brings this awareness. There's this communication between you and the subconscious. There's this things are a little more, you're feeling more receptive of these energies, Cancer, of what you're feeling. So take this this moon and Gemini energy, which, okay, now we're back to the moon and Gemini. You can take what you've been processing over this Taurus energy these last couple of days, and now going into the rest of your day, what what feelings came up in that as you were thinking about how this maybe how we've been going about our journey have we been following the group you know where have we put stock and where have we may have lost track of ourselves and maybe where we've not been dreaming big enough maybe where you know because now venus you know getting ready to move into aquarius not too not too long after this on the she'll be moving on the 17th you know, this will be where we're taking these these new versions of ourselves and putting them out, discussing them with people, you know, with friends and, and testing them against the group. So I feel this is just one for you to, I feel like kind of keep an open mind with what comes up for you. If you and, and if you notice that you're feeling challenges or resistance somewhere, be curious with that energy. Why do you feel these resistances, these challenges and whatever is coming up? Maybe this is an opinion that someone said about what you may be doing, or maybe this could be something that you've heard that gets that challenges you, some information that you notice on like social media, for example. But I do feel that Gemini energy in us like a really high expression doesn't really have, it doesn't that they don't have an opinion, but they allow the information, they don't allow opinions, opinions to slow down the process of the information. If there's a need to have a thought on it, then we'll, we'll do that. But I hope that, I hope that makes sense there, Cancer, but this could be a very sort of intuitive I feel like a really kind of one where you can really kind of sit with yourself and kind of process how you are with how the shifts in these energies are moving. Do you feel secure in what you're doing? And again, how can you get to that sense of security? So, but I think that's all I got for you there, Cancer. But last few things, and if you want to know how this energy may, is working in your chart there, Cancer, book a reading down there with me. I have a link in the description box down, in below, down below, and I also have a link on my Instagram as well. But I do different readings based off of the energies that you're working with. You know, it's because Cancer, you're the one that determines where, these, the, where you go, the energies don't necessarily they just in, they're just like an invitation you know and a, a way for you to challenge yourself do you want to think this way you know this is what you know when the moon's in gemini what are you noticing what are you perceiving what are you how has your mind processed all of the information that has come in do we need to maybe dump some of this energy in the sense have you been overloaded even just thinking with the moon being in gemini because it can be a lot there kids i have my, my moon's in gemini in a very early placement of gemini so it's it's a very pure expression of it and I have to write like I have to there's like there gets a point where I do reach capacity and it's like I have to express this some type of way either through talking and if that's not enough writing has been something that helps so that's something to think about if you have any Gemini placements but yeah just so you could just the readings could be just about learning yourself energetically, how the planets are affecting your transits, what questions they may or, or side of paths that they may be inviting you towards their cancer, some things to think about, you know, what specific aspects are forming over the next weeks, you know, months. We can even get some sort of plan scheduled up. I have an option for that as well. We do pre-recorded videos there, cancer, whatever makes this easiest for you. But and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me to direct message and DM me on Instagram. Instagram or even on Facebook. I feel like that would work too on Messenger. I, I trust you with the technology there, Cancer. But, and then these readings that I do, they're not gender specific readings. So apply these energies to people as they make sense for your situations. And then the decks that I'm working with, I've included links for them down in the description box below. So definitely check that out if you're interested. 
But also down below, some links for some other readers that I like watching their cancer. Definitely check them out. They're a fantastic group. There are some links for an astrologer that I enjoy watching, a couple of podcasts that I've been jamming out to, and some apps that I really enjoy working with their cancer. It really helps me keep track of where the planets are at, what things are going retrograde, all, all this stuff there. There's a moon phase out there, cancer. That's I feel like that. Cancer Sun, Ryan, wherever you have cancer placements. That if you have cancer placements, absolutely get that moon app. We should always know what's, what, what lunar shenanigans are going on there, cancer. So definitely avail yourself of that. Whew, with all that out the way, cancer, let's get to your general energy of the day, which you have the Ride the Waves card here, cancer. And we've gotten this before. And this is a card of life lessons and growth, and you will get through this. And so, again, maybe we've been feeling, I feel like with this coming up again, you know, maybe there have been a lot of emotions that have been coming up for you there, Cancer. There's been a lot to process. And with where the energies have been, you know, first there may have been that excitement with Aries. There may have been that tension considering that we had that energy going on with, or we have that energy going on with Chiron and the North Node, figuring out where we want, want to heal, where our self-esteem may be damaged. There's been a lot of energies that have been going on and we're getting ready to be where I feel like we're going to be more aware of that, but not in a, I feel like, a, oh goodness, like more, like more in a softer type of way with the sun entering into Pisces. I feel like the Pisces energy is a very nice, you know, when the sun or when any of the planets are in water signs, you know, Cancer, this does form, especially when the, when it's in Pisces or Scorpio, this is forming trines with our signs. That's very easy energy. And I feel like that we're going to kind of see things a little bit differently, understanding that this experience that we're going through, these things are we're, we're feeling is, how do I want to put this now? We're getting kind of in Pisces realm. It's, it's, one, it's like, I feel like we're aware of the process, you know, that this experience is, is helping my growth for a reason. It doesn't take away from the fact that it may not feel the greatest, their cancer, these challenges, but I do feel that it is understanding, I feel that, especially with Cancerian energy, that the, the more that you understand how these experiences in life shape who you are, how you heal from these waves that may have been a little tough there, Cancer, and when you meet yourself that deeply, you know, when you're gone through, you know, again, when you feel kind of stuck in the mud, again, once you he start healing and growing from that, that again allows you to meet others very deeply it develops that sense of compassion and i feel like that's that oneness that neptune and pisces is trying to teach us because you know the fact that we're going through this journey while this energy is happening is no coincidence there cancer you know there's this there is this i feel hmm I just feel that it's like in this growth and where this changes, we're not sure where things are going in a sense they're cancer. It's okay. I feel like it's allowing yourself some some pause and some some forgiveness in a sense. And that it's this ride the wave in the terms of there's this acceptance. You know, cancer. And again, it's not this giving up, but it's a surrender type of energy that, okay, this makes me feel some type of way, but now what can I do in this moment to change that? You know, you know, and like it really just kind of sitting, sitting with that flow there, cancer. But let me get some tear on this and get some details with that. All right, cancer. Thank you, guys. Let's see what's going on here. All right, Cancer, so you have the Ten of Cups in Rebirth. Okay. You have the 
pardon me, you have the Ten of Cups in reverse, and then you have the Ace of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles up right here, Cancer. And you know, I, I like this because the Ace of Pentacles, I feel like that this is kind of looking at what you've manifested up until this point, you know, like what and what lessons that they teach you with, what lessons have you learned with all the choices that you have made, the things that you've invested in, I feel with the Seven of Discs being here. And is that path still resonating with you? Because I don't feel like this, this... I feel for some that there may be this this thing, this could be maybe where we're just thinking with like Aquarius energy. This could be even just like with our internet presence, for example. You know, we may be a part of certain groups and things like that. And there could be this analyzation of maybe those certain things or certain views aren't resonating with me anymore. It's not that we're just getting rid of stuff just because we... How do I want to put this cancer? I feel like there's something here where it's just like, does this thing resonate with you? Does it like, is it, is it contributing to your growth or not? Is it contributing to your dream? And this could be the groups that you follow. This could be, you know, the actual kind of friends, maybe family. And I feel these seven of pentacles for some, this could be, if this is like a family thing, if we're noticing some dissonance there, this could be where we just get into that Gemini energy and just be talking about what we have been perceiving. You know, this is where I'm noticing that I'm changing, you know, where I'm feeling restricted, maybe in a sense, where I want to, you know, where I want to invest in something i want i feel like there's this new vision here that's coming with this eight of pentacles that's inviting you to i feel like even just like kind of dream bigger in a sense you know considering what i was talking about with the moon sextiling neptune and pisces you know this could be where we're see, being aware that we can do more to the table that we can have a little bit bigger that maybe even this could even be for some, and it's again, it's not like we're breaking up with our family or anything, but this could even be where we're seeing family a different type of way. Maybe if we haven't found that, that sense of belonging in the sense that tribe that maybe we can, that it's okay. I even feel like if something doesn't resonate with you anymore, maybe we've kind of ridden this horse for a while, but now just something has shifted and it's just like, Hmm. You know, there's like, it's almost like a question of identity, but I do feel this Gemini energy is seeing the duality in that. It's like, what, what things can you take from that, that have solidified, giving you a solid foundation? What things do we need to tweak a little bit, you know, and be a little more diverse, maybe even, I'm just kind of even thinking maybe there's something here about broadening our perspective as well there, Cancer, because Aquarius is very diverse, very accepting of everyone in their uniqueness there, so, all right, Cancer, let's get some more on this. Cancer. Let's see what else we got going on here. Hmm. Oh, we got a lot here, Cancer. Oh, okay. So you have. Yeah, we got a lot here. Okay. So you have the Six of Swords, the Eight of Cups, the Page of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords in reverse here, Cancer. And then we have the Two of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, the King of Swords, and the World Upright here. And you know, Cancer, you have a, there's a couple of energies here that, I feel for some that maybe there's this,
we're, I feel like for some, there's this energy that we're having troubles walking away from here, possibly. There's maybe a certain idea or maybe even like either this is a way of thinking cancer or this is maybe a certain project that we have started up, something that we've invested in, something that I feel like in the early stages may have seemed promising, may have seemed like it was going to get you to this finish line there, but... I feel with the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Swords that there's something that we're having troubles walking away from that may be... I feel like that it's maybe... I don't want to say miss... Misguided is the word that's coming to mind, but it doesn't feel like... It's a different type of feeling. It's like... It's something that I feel we're trying to trying to balance out here but i feel there's this question with this with the knight of cups being here there's a certain honesty i feel that comes with the knight of cups he's he's one that He's, he really asks himself, is he following his heart? You know, he really trusts his feelings. You know, tomorrow's not offered, is not guaranteed for him. So he well, he lives life with his, just heart on, like just to the fullest there. There's this intensity that comes with the Knight of Cups being here. And I just feel there's, there's this energy cancer of... Either kind of observe, either observing maybe the ideas that maybe people have adopted or the ideas that maybe you have adopted and maybe just seeing how that's resonating in your environment possibly here. There's something that I feel we're needing to learn from with the world happening here, Cancer. Or maybe this is an experience that we're we're kind of integrating right now. We've just had this maybe breakup in a sense, whether this be in a relationship maybe we thought we loved something a whole bunch like this was our world but the king of swords is this wisdom that's coming through here cancer this under this almost detached sort of understanding we came coming in, it's like we came in here sort of it's like how i was kind of mentioning earlier where it's like we were kind of feeling things out here, Cancer, and now that we're in kind of in this air energy, it's being a bit more objective with it, in a sense, kind of seeing how what we're feeling is that actually what is resonating, in a sense, you know, like, you know, we can feel that we haven't gotten our wish, that we haven't gotten to this thing that we, you know, like, that time is maybe ha moving too fast. And that could even be something too with the moon and the sun being, having gone through that energy. There could be this question of pace even. I'm kind of feeling there, Cancer, where... Hmm. You know, Cancer, just as all these sort of thoughts and feelings are kind of coming in, this just may be where we're at right now, just even kind of thinking with Mercury being in Aquarius right now, because that's where the dispositor of this is at. There's probably a lot of thoughts happening and a lot of things that maybe aren't making sense, a lot of pieces that may be kind of coming together there, where... We may have, again, started a little strong with the Knight of Cups. And I feel like that, you know, where you followed cancer, your heart was in the right place of where you've been going. But now there's this understanding about where we're going next with this. Like not necessarily focusing on the mistakes, but maybe where we see where it's time to make space, where it's time to let go of things. Maybe where how you've grown in a sense, like there's this new thought that's new seed that's trying to pop up here even their cancer like your wishes are changing and allowing allowing them to change you know and not thinking that you know what well, what maybe we've went through possibly was like a waste of time if that's making sense because i'm getting like a time is a big factor and saturn here the world card is you know one of this concepts deals with time and where we've where we need maybe need to be a bit more disciplined in our direction their cancer saturn's in pisces so hmm
Yeah, I feel like you're just kind of getting in a new, learning to ride the wave there, Cancer, in a different type of way. Learning that you are, because I feel, Cancer, the more that we get in tune with these changes, the easier that it does get to ride this stuff. Because now we're, we're able to understand, okay, I'm going through this and I have these tools at my disposal. These things I can process here, but, hmm. And I'll tell you what, being a, being a Cancer Sun, Gemini Moon... You know, sometimes it is just, I don't want to say easier, but because it's not that I can turn the emotions off. Like someone had asked me that when I told them I had a Gemini moon. It's like, no, of course not. If anything, I'm just like, I'm more aware of it. I, 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 it's, it's, a, it's a lot that you're, you're kind of observing yourself a lot. And it's not in a critical way like Virgo, but it's just like, oh, there is a lot going on in here. And... I feel that it just allows you just to kind of come at it with a king of swords type of energy. Just let it, let a lot go on and just let it pass you by. And if one is kind of clinging on their cancer, then give it that attention. Like what? <laughs> what? Why, why are you here? What is this making me feel? And then learning from that and then letting it go. You know, we're getting into this Pisces energy where we're getting ready to start letting some stuff go. We got to close some some chapters out here and make space for some new things, you know. We have to get to a place where we're not just kind of in this. But let me, let me get your, let's get some advice from Mercury here, Cancer. Interesting, that cancer. All right. Huh. That's was kind of feeling him earlier when I was talking about the Knight of, Knight of Cups. But you have the Seven of Swords, the Nine of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse here, cancer. And then you have the Eight of Swords and the Knight of Wands upright here. And let's switch back over. Because I feel with this energy, cancer, that... You know, so there's something I feel like here from the moon moving to Taurus to moving into Gemini that maybe we are just kind of processing things a lot more there, Cancer. And I feel that... I feel that with this... Hmm, I feel like with whatever it is that you set out for this new moon, Cancer... I feel that there are new things that you may be learning about yourself and and it's to not because I feel like it's like in this maybe in this growth here cancer that mm, it's like for some I feel like that we're pigeonholing ourselves with the, the eight of swords being here that we feel kind of stuck in a certain energy maybe there's something that again six of swords eight of cups in reverse something that I feel like maybe is kind of keeping us locked in their cancer that's a lot that's keeping us kind of burnt out and maybe this is a time we've been trying we've been I almost feel like that it's, and I know how this may sound cancer, but, you know, I feel like that in all of that introspective work, all that feeling, we have to allow ourselves like a little play in this, you know, allow yourself a break, I feel, with the, with the Knight of Wands being here. And I feel like this Knight of Wands is, it's not necessarily just like, let's just having fun, cancer, but it's more, like, I feel too, it's a... Learning to j enjoy the journey, but in a real, like, in a, like, that realistic type of place where it's just like, okay, it may not have been the greatest year, but, you know, but, like, not just letting it be just, like, a sentence on a negative. Acknowledging that negative, but also balancing that out with the positive, I feel, with the Knight of Wands being here, just so that... Because I do feel like the Seven of Swords, we're not seeing something for what it could be. You know, we're not seeing the truth, you know, as, as far as it's like the subconscious may be kind of locked on something. Something I feel like we maybe felt like locked. It's like we're held on to something there, Cancer, again, with that Eight of Swords, that 
it's keeping us from making this motion here. So, but whether, whatever this, how, and whatever, however this may have resonated with you, Cancer, I do feel like that, no, you, again, no, you will get through this and that there will be times where things will, the energies will get moving again, I feel, with the, with the Knight of Wands being here, that it's not just always going to be, I mean, it's all, it is just constant growth there, Cancer. But again, you can learn to enjoy this along the way and ride this wave in a different type of way there, Cancer. But all right, I think I'm going to leave that there. But, but if, uh, if anything resonated with you, Cancer, if you like that, give it a thumbs up. And share this thing, Cancer, if you know someone who's been having troubles riding the wave. You know, maybe things have not been what they've pictured they can be. You know, maybe it's been a lot harder to get to that wish, maybe, than they had thought. You know, so it's like, I almost feel like, because the Seven of Pentacles, and that's something even interesting to think about there, Cancer. The Seven of Pentacles can be this card of, it's Saturn in, in, in Taurus. And I was just even thinking with that, that. We could even feel... We could feel that like our growth is maybe where it's taking too long where it's like we're wanting it to be at a certain place but it's just like it's not there yet mm -hmm. but something to think about there kids i had there was something a little more sophisticated than that but then subscribe there you world hit that bell button you get notified now these videos each each day and then last few things there cancer yeah, if you want to know how these energies may be translating in your charts, you know, maybe just kind of make sense of where some of these questions that are coming up through there, maybe things that are, how things can maybe make more sense, you know, kind of see where these energies are lining up, maybe where we've been a little too, however this may be translating for you there, Cancer, you know. I feel we're in this age where we're coming together and, you know, understand how we, we, process or how we interact energetically there and i feel like that is important for cancerians and just all the signs but cancer you know we're you know we do feel a lot and any sort of tools that can help you heal their cancer i feel like makes you a more efficient healer too so yeah definitely check that out for any sort of private personal readings their cancer all in the description box and also down there when we're done checking your sun moon and rising you can come on over to my other channel alchemist state I do weekly videos there depending on, I've, I've gotten it almost all together. It, depending if it's like a busy week, I may do kind of split the videos up, but I at least do it one video a week talking about where the planetary transits are at, what are some things that I may think about. And yeah, it's still kind of, the concept is still kind of forming there, Cancer, but it's just something so they can work with astrological weather. Just get a little weekly update there in the middle of the month because I know monthly you can get all that information. It's just like, oh, what happened? So just kind of keep to you kind of up to date on the forecast of their cancer and then i do monthly readings on there every time the sun moves into a new sign and then i do yearly ones i do a birthday one for or solar return for each of the zodiac sign their cancer so yeah all that housekeeping is down in the description box below but let me get your surprise cards here cancer oh so i can get you out of here all right so you got the five of wands here cancer and, you know, we may be, you know, the Five of Wands is a card of conflict. And we may not be doing well in a conflict. Maybe we're coming to, again, maybe there's something that's happening with others. Maybe this is something that's going on internally. But I do feel like it is riding the wave out there, Cancer, and observing what feelings come up. And, again, why these feelings are come up. Being inquisitive with these energies. Being compassionate with these feelings. Because just because they are feelings, that doesn't make them any less real but i do feel like it is acknowledging what is how that is turning up in your reality and what is it that we may have just kind of internalized there cancer you know kind of sit with that process this this energy and see where just where the foundation feels a little rocky because something feels like a little out of alignment here with the ten of pentacles ten of cups being in reverse but we got eyes on it at least, you know, it's, that's, it could be a whole other thing if you're not even sure why. So I feel like this kid, and if we don't, I feel this is an opportunity to ask yourself why, you know, be again, be, be inquisitive instead of letting these raves push you cancer. Yeah. Learning to be the expert water. Cause you know, no one feels as deeply as we do cancer. And so there is a lot of wisdom that can come from that. 
All right, Cancer. Knights. <laughs> Love it, Cancer. So you have, oh, I do really like that. So you have the Full Moon in Pisces card here, which is a card of Forgive, Cancer. And you know what? I feel like that's exactly, look at that, Pisces still coming through. I feel this ride the wave as this life comes up and these lessons come through their cancer. Again, it is learning how to forgive. It's learning how to be compassionate during this journey. Yeah, things happen, but your past does not define you. What you do with those lessons, you know, how do you take that knowledge and turn it into wisdom? And I feel like it's not just in, in learning to forgive yourself there, cancer. Do you remember, I feel compassion for others as well. And it's not like we're excusing them for what they've done, but it is understanding where they're operating from. You know, I feel like that. And knowing that we've all been there at one point, you know, I feel like a lot of times we can forget that, that we're all going through this human experience, all for different reasons. But on a rudimentary level, it's, you know, it's similar stuff, trying to figure out who we are, how we translate, how we work with these energies. What does that mean? So, but I do feel, I, I just have a feeling with this Pisces energy that it is going to bring about a lot of awareness and a change in how we can imagine our lives going forward there, Cancer. So, I like that. But you stay safe out there, Cancer, with all of this, all these waves that are happening right now, a lot of waves. And we do have a lot of big energy coming up through here. Venus and Mars are getting ready to do, do a conjunction here soon. Yeah, we got, a, we got a whole bunch of energies coming up here, Cancer, but we got this. And you keep eyes on the moon, feel, keep, you know, she's about halfway, halfway there, Cancer. You know, we're getting ready to get to that place of seeing where things have taken off there and what are we getting ready to release? You know, what do we want to release and get ready to let go getting into the next cycle there, Cancer. And I will catch you on the next one, Moon Day.